Hello and welcome to the shop. Today I thought I'd have a little fun and throw an entry into the hat for Bill Lavalsi's No Lathe Pen Challenge. Now the rules are super simple. Make a pen, don't use a lathe, email Bill a link to your video, and have it in by February 19th. Can't beat that. <laughs> So, uh, and also I'm going to put information uh, about Bill's channel uh, down below as well as a link to the playlist for all the videos. And I've watched about 12 or 13 of them so far and there are some killer ideas out there. And I'm thinking, man, you know, some of this stuff is super creative and you could really use it with a lathe. So uh, it's it, it, definitely take the time, even if you don't want to enter the contest, take the time and check out these videos and subscribe to these channels because you've got creators out there who are coming up with amazing ideas uh, for you. And, and this is going to help your pen turning. So don't just, don't just watch, subscribe. Help these guys out. They're all cool dudes. But with that being said, I'm out in the shop. It's freezing cold. I've been sick. I don't feel good. I like the no pen or the no lathe pen challenge because I can do this in the house. So I'm going to gather some materials head into my house, and I'm gonna see what I can come up with. I'm gonna start out with a standard slimline pin kit, and I need to get a measurement for both tubes plus the trim ring. Once I've acquired that measurement, I'll take a 10 millimeter tube, and I'll mark it, and then we'll use a plumbing pipe cutter to cut the tube. And I should now have a tube that is exactly the same length as the two pin tubes and the trim ring from the seven millimeter kit. When you use a small pipe cutting tool like that, you always get a bevel on the end of your tube. So what I like to do is take a punch that's just a little smaller than the size of the tube. I'll run it through the tube and I'll just sort of tap the brass to sort of straighten it out. Here's the quarter inch punch and it now goes right through the tube. And we have now corrected the bevel on the end of that tube and we won't have any trouble pressing the parts to our pin into the tube. I've trimmed my basswood blank to be almost exactly the same length as the tube. It is maybe a quarter of an inch longer. And I've chucked up a seven millimeter drill bit and it is maybe a quarter inch longer than the length of the tube. Now what we want to do is go ahead and drill a hole straight through the center of our blank. Because of the length of the blank, my drill press doesn't extend that far. So I'm going to go ahead and raise the blank as well as the table to accommodate the longer uh, shaft that we need to drill down the center of this blank. I neglected to turn the camera on, but all I did was take my, my modified tube that I cut, I roughed it up with some sandpaper, I used a little medium CA glue, and I glued it into my blank. Shot it with some accelerator, and I'm just letting it finish drying before we move on to barrel trimming the ends of the blank. Instead of barrel trimming, which is rather aggressive, I've decided to use my sanding jig on my belt sander to flatten both ends of this blank. To make working with this blank a little easier, I decided to use a quarter inch bolt, which is the same size as a mandrel, and I'm going to go ahead and slide a 7 millimeter bushing on there. Then we can slide our wood on, another 7 millimeter bushing, 
and we'll use a nut at the far end to hold everything in place. This should allow me to tightly hold this blank while I work with it. really happy with how my pen is turning out. I went ahead and used a rag and wiped a little Rust-Oleum cherry colored stain on it and I think it took a real nice finish. I let it sit overnight and the color is just beautiful. The basswood really really popped with the cherry stain. I took my time sanding and carving and I know it's hard to see but I've got a real nice fit at my bushings on both ends so I think this is going to uh, actually make a fairly nice mechanical pencil. <laughs> Something I didn't think about the other day when I put the solid tube in there, I once again grabbed a seven millimeter tube and there is no seven millimeter click mechanism. Uh, there is a three eighths click mechanism and I have three eighths tubes. I just grabbed the wrong one. So what I'm going to do is turn this into a mechanical pencil, but I really like it. It's not the, uh, because I carved it, it's not perfectly cylindrical like it would be if it was on a lathe and you can kind of feel it down at the bottom and it fits perfect in my hand right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'll put the clip on the front and then I'll put the uh, mechanical pencil parts in it and I think it's gonna make a great, great mechanical pencil. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot some lacquer on it. I'm just gonna use a little Watco clear lacquer. We'll let that dry and then we'll take a look at it and see if we think it needs another coat or not. I ended up shooting a couple, actually three coats of lacquer on the pin and I ran a little 4 aught steel wool over it just to kind of smooth it out a little bit. Um, I really like the way it feels. I'm going to go ahead now and assemble the parts. We have this little cap piece that goes in the front of the pin. We'll just press that in until it stops. And on the back of the pin, we need to put the clip and the, the I want to call it the button housing for lack of a better term. We'll just line that up. And I'll make sure it aligns nicely. Okay. You can see I got a really nice fit here on the back of the pin. I was able to carve and sand right up next to the bushing. I got a nice fit on the front of the pin too. Let me go ahead and assemble, assemble it and we'll take a closer look at that once we, there we go. There we are. 
take a look at that fit. Well, let me get it really nice. I couldn't be happier with that pen. I think it turned out, I keep calling it a pen. It's a mechanical pencil. I think it turned out fantastic. I'd like to thank you for joining me in the shop tonight. I had a great time making this pen. I'd like to thank Bill for a wonderful challenge. And once again, be sure to check down below for links to uh, Bill's site as well as links to the playlist for the No Lathe Pen Challenge. Um, one thing I made sure of, because I carved this, and I mentioned it earlier, it's not perfectly cylindrical. It fits in my hand perfectly this way. This way, I didn't like the feel so much, but this way it kind of angles. It's almost triangular where it angles down. It's a very comfortable fit. So I made sure when I put my clip on that I put it to this side so that it wouldn't interfere uh, with my knuckle as I was riding. But I like the pen. The basswood is extremely light. Uh, I was really surprised with the stain that I got some nice, some nice looking grain out of it. I didn't realize basswood uh, had grain like that. But it's... Uh, it's, it's pretty cool. I know I called it a pen the entire challenge. I do apologize. It is a mechanical pencil. Uh, but once again, Bill, thank you so much for having the challenge and for allowing all of us to participate. Uh, I really appreciated it. I want everybody to have a great evening, and I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon. Take care, everybody.